we had a lot of ups and downs starting at the beginning of the season with the loss against um, Western Oregon and then just being able to bounce back and, you know, have the great, great season we did, you know, at home, having those 15 wins and um, I just having the struggles on the road. I just think it was we learned so much through, about ourselves and, and just about each other as a team, you know, and as a coaching staff. I just think, you know, we just learned so much about ourselves going into from the beginning of the season till now. I just think it's gonna be, we're, we're, on, we're going in the right path going into next season. You know, everyone's so excited, motivated, learned a lot. You know, everyone's just ready to get into next season and just really achieve the goals that we all know we, we could uh, achieve. As a basketball player, you can't ask for a better, you know, a better place to play than Gil. Having, when it's packed like that, you know, during Arizona and, and when we played USC, I think it was, and when we played, um, and when we played the Civil War, like it was just amazing. I just wanted to go out there and just give him, give him my all, you know, for the fans and just for my teammates. Just know that's what we work towards. Toronto, I, it's a great city just because, like, it's so welcoming. It's just so diverse. I think that's the main thing I always noticed. Like growing, I grew up right downtown in the city, you know. So I always like. I was right in the center of things, always where, where all the action was and stuff like that. So I just think it's such a diverse country. There's so many different cultures. It's just, you can go there and just learn so much and just there's so much to different see, like all the different towns we have. Just, just I think it's such a nice environment. I just, I don't know, I just love Toronto. It's just me growing up there, you know, I'm biased towards Toronto, but I just think it's just a place that everyone should go visit at one, one time in their life. And from what I, you know, from what I've heard, everyone has, this, you know, they say that's one of the best places they've been. So, you know, I just know it's a great city. I just think everyone should take a visit there. Right now, I'm going into business, so I just, I, I can see my, I want to see myself on Wall Street. <laughs> I don't know. That's just, you know, something I was always interested. In. I'm like, I'm good at math, and that's just my interest, you know, just money and stuff like that. So. I, I can see myself on Wall Street one day. I've already done like internships and stuff like that with different investment companies and stuff. So just that's where I see myself at, after playing basketball, trying to be on Wall Street or just, you know, build my own company. I don't know what type of company yet, but I have lots of ideas. So my family is the main thing that drives me. Um, every day I just think about, you know, my just Think about my mom, my brother, you know, my dad, just everything that everyone's been through to, to, you know, to put me in a position that I am today. I just, that's what drives me every day, you know, to, to know that I'm living, like, you know, I'm living a dream of being a Division One basketball player. Like, that's a dream to a lot of people that I grew up with, you know, like all my friends and my brother. I just, it's just having that dream. They always wanted to, you know, have that go get Division One scholarship, play basketball in D1. But for me to be that one person that, like, you know, actually did it and actually is, is living it right now, it's just amazing. So it just motivates me every day to just want to give it my all in the classroom, you know, just get my full experience. It means so much, you know, to have this opportunity to, you know, build my life pretty much you know this is where college is a place where you learn about yourself you know you really start the formation for what you're going to do in your future so to, to be given that opportunity and, and not have to worry about you know financial problems and stuff like that just just to to have the opportunity to get an education and play you know the sport i love every day it's just it's amazing you know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity i just think you just have to you know just grab just take full advantage of it and just try to give it your all the goal of our Beaver Nation is to change lives, and you've definitely changed mine. Thank you.